There was a station published one time for Larry. That's uh, when the priest comes and says mass in the house for the neighbours, a function going back to the penal times when there were no churches. Well, there was a station published one time for Larry. Uh, he was a connection of my own, a man that lived to be nearly 90 years of age and was only one week sick in his life. That was the week he died, of course. I don't remember this too well myself, the old people I heard talking about it. And what kept it so fresh in their memories was something comical to take place the morning of the station. The parish priest we had here at the time was a trifle hasty, a little impatient and stern of demeanour, and signs by innocent people were peppering and dread him. Although to go to the house you couldn't meet a nicer man, Jeremiah Hargan that was telling me, Jeremiah was at the house for a letter of freedom. He was marrying some bird from an outside community. He got the letter of freedom. As things turned out, he'd be better off if he didn't. Well, came the morning of the station, and all the neighbours were in Larry's yard. The morning turned out wet, but country people don't mind the rain. They say it never melted anyone. With that, a son of Jury Dan Tygeans put his head around the corner of the house and said, He's coming! Well, all the neighbours belted off into the kitchen and left Larry there to welcome the PP. And Larry would rather any other job. He'd rather be draining the Dead Sea with a silver spoon. He was very shy and distant in himself. Well, he didn't have long to wait when Father John, the parish priest, came sailing into the yard on a saddle horse, holding over his head a black round roof on top of a walking cane. Larry nearly fainted, for that was the first umbrella that was seen in that part of the country. Larry took the horse from Father John and put him in the stable, and Father John made off in towards the kitchen, and when those inside saw the door were darkening, every man turned around, trying to make himself small behind his neighbour in case any awkward question would be put to him. And when they turned around, secondly, Father John had the umbrella open at the butt of the kitchen in a farm that the rain had been running off of it and that it'd be nice and dry when he'd be going home by and by. That is, when confessions had be heard, mass had be said, breakfast had be ate, and dues had be collected. Well, the morning wore on and all these things happened and the grace of God, glory be to him, was in the house and Father John was in the parlour having his breakfast, and the women were up and down, taking the legs of one another with excitement. And uh, Larry's wife said, and her face as red as a coal of fire, Well, says she, if you saw the look he gave me when he took the top off the egg, were there two done, says Kate, bullets, girl, and I wouldn't mind, but I told the daughter of mine to watch him, but there you are the morning you'd want a thing to go right for you, that's the morning everything would break the milk in you. All the men were in the kitchen around the umbrella, same as if it was a German bomber. And uh, they were saying that for such a simple thing, wasn't it a great wonder someone didn't think of it long ago? And how handy it would be to prop it open over the mouth of a barrel in the yard, you know, where you'd have a goose or a thing hatching, a wet day. Just then, Father John came up out of the room. Well, men, he said, what is the morning doing? "'Tis clearing,' says one forward sort of a man. "'Oh, if that is the case, says Father John, I think I'll be going. "'I have many things to attend to. "'Good morning, Father,' they all said, "'and this with great relief, for the bottle wouldn't be opened until he was gone. "'A strict T.T. "'Larry took the horse out of the stable, "'and he conveyed Father John down to the main road. "'That is a very nice custom that you have around the countryside here.' that if they think highly of you, they'll convey you down to the main road, down past the gander. If not, they'll only come to the half-door and say in their own minds that the road may rise with you and hit you a wilt. Well, they weren't gone far down when uh, Father John thought of the umbrella, and he says to Larry, he said, Larry, he said, uh, uh, run back to the house and bring me out my umbrella. Well, he didn't have to say this thing secondly to Larry. Larry ran back to the house and into the kitchen, breathless, and he took a hold of the umbrella by the leg. It was open all the time. And he brought the umbrella to the door after him. But the umbrella would not go out. So he turned around and he tried to shove the umbrella out before him. 
but the umbrella would not go out. He turned it sideways and upside down, but the umbrella remained inside. And he looked at the neighbours, and the neighbours looked at him, and they had pity for him. Well, he took the door off of the hinges, off of the bookhorns. That would give him an extra inch. But the umbrella remained inside. And Larry, there were beads of perspiration out in his forehead. And he was muttering to himself and he was saying, Sure, if it came in, it must go out. Well, there was a little man there and trying to be of some help, he said, I wonder would it be any value if we drove out the two sides of the frame. Two sides of the frame were driven out in the yard. But the umbrella remained inside. There's nothing for it now, says Larry, only knock the wall. A sledge was procured. And Father John, when he heard all the pounding below on the boreen, he doubled back to the house, and when he saw what was happening, it was like a tonic to him. And he said, men, he said, what are ye at? Well, do you know, no, Father, says Larry, do you know, Father, I think myself now, if I got that big cornerstone there down, the mushroom would sail out, no trouble. Move into the kitchen from me, says he. So they all moved into the kitchen, and Father John took the umbrella by the leg. It was open always, and he brought the umbrella to the door before him. Now, he was a fierce big man, overcoat and all, on a wet day. So when he came to the door, they couldn't see what was happening, and he shut the umbrella like lightning and wouldn't open the outside and walked out the yard with the umbrella over his head and left them all there speechless. When he was gone, Larry turned to what was inside, and he said, Say what you like. They have the power.